I'm pumped up. I'm ready. Just got back to Texas, so I'm starting to get my, my training camp going back down here. I have uh, great nutrition. I'm eating healthy. Now it's time to keep cracking it on the training series. So for UFC 214, I'll be ready. Yeah, Sacramento to Orange County to meet up with her. And from Sacramento, I think it was a first time flyer, first time uh, pilot. And flying like a plane like that with cool people because he landed it really bad. Oh my god. Yeah, the plane was like bouncing and just beat me. <laughs> it's alright. This time, first is the worst, second is the best. Uh, I picked up. So, the boxing coach I was working with is actually Cody Garbrandt's boxing coach at Team Alpha Male. <laughs> I was like, man, you smell so good. His name's, uh, I call him Sting, or Stingray. I was like, man, Sting, you smell so good. So I actually got the cologne from him that he had. <laughs> and then it didn't have a cap, so I taped it up. But <laughs> he called it, I forgot what he called it, but anyways. It's much so excited. <laughs> hey guys, this is my brother Sean. Hey, I'm Colby. Sister Colby. We just flew back in, me and Colby did from California. I was training up with Team Alpha Male, just caught a flight with her in Orange County, and now made it back. So we're all hanging out and uh, getting ready for a fight next Friday. Yeah, next Friday, June 23rd, you can watch on Access TV. Yep, we'll see you guys tomorrow. This fight, was actually, this was before the UFC actually, but maybe before my UFC fight, my first UFC fight. And, uh, they're like, hey Sage, you want this? And I was like, absolutely. It's super cool. So sometimes it scares myself. I walk downstairs, I turn around the corner, I'm like, whoa! I see myself smiling there. Hey guys, welcome back. We're here training today. She's about to arm bar me. <laughs> 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 Making sure I get every every little tendon stretched out, ligament. <laughs> nice, that was good. Nice. The triangles are sick. So right now we're working our ground game, getting that, just refreshing some moves. Especially some submissions, some escapes, stuff like that. Some offense, defense, make sure everything's sharp for a fight. Let's say I just knock you down the ground, took you down, whatever it might be. I have to make sure I'm not leaning too far down because I don't want to get kicked right in the face. And we've seen people get knocked out before in the UFC and other fights get kicked in the face. So make sure you keep your hips back, make sure you don't get kicked in the face. If you're gonna go on a pound, you know, punch. We're about to get this sparring again. Pull out 100% speed, UFC style. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to spar him pull out, are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, as long as you have matching mouth guards. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> we do have the same color, don't we? Exact same. Yeah, the exact same mouth guard. That's so funny. Pretty cool. Uh, we're, st we're still uh, reviewing some technique real quick. Making sure everything stays sharp. Then afterwards, we're going to do some uh, flow sparring. Nothing too hard. She has to kick, kick her girl's butt that she's fighting this weekend. Velcro hurts. <laughs> Man, I feel great. I'm definitely ready. Um, it's just fine tuning little things, reviewing here and there. Um, nothing too hard. I'm um, six days away, so super light. Just reviewing the basics. Just making sure the Velcro doesn't scrape us up. Don't want any mad infections or anything. If you have a little scrapes, he means he doesn't want to get scratched up. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move around a little light, get some sparring in. Nothing hard because our fight's less than a week away, so just uh, get some close sparring a little bit. Technique, make sure everything's on point. Man, this kid's coming close 
slow too. <laughs> out of these MMA clubs now we do some boxing um middle way kickboxing on on the bags light bag work. yeah light bag work exactly Definitely ready. I have my recharge mix in there, my branch chain, amino acids, and my glutamine. BCAA power. That's some power right there. We're done drilling for today. We're just gonna stretch out just a little bit, make sure we stay relaxed, loose. Yeah. Now that we're finished up, so. So excited for a fight. <laughs> June 23rd. Right. I'm pumped. Excited to be there. I was super excited when I had my first pro fight because I could throw elbows. As an amateur, you can't throw elbows. Yeah, elbows. So I was looking forward to hitting somebody with an elbow. And I knocked out, knocked out some people with elbows on the ground, ground and pound, and knocked them completely out. So that was that was a pretty cool feeling. I had some crazy sharp elbows, crazy hard elbows too. It's good because I don't even I don't even really feel it when I elbow someone. So it's, they feel it, but I don't feel it. So it's good. <laughs> There's some guys out there when they throw kicks. After the fight, they tell me, that, man, I threw one kick and I felt it hurt my foot, or hurt my leg, hurt this or hurt that. But I guess I've been blessed, she's been blessed with it that we throw these kicks and they're they're solid, they're strong, so we're used to it and we're not like, man, yep, the whole our whole entire life. So pretty much it was I think when when I just turned 18, when 17. Are you 18? I think I just turned 18, right after my birthday, March 1st, I had my first pro MMA fight. I was fighting with a league called Legacy, and then uh, I think I had, I should, no, I have five fights now, so I had five fights, total as a pro, and then my sixth fight was my first fight in the UFC. So that was really neat, and I went down to fight 155, so 155 is what I was fighting at. As an amateur, I had the 155 pound title belt with Legacy, and the 170 pound title belt with Legacy. Legacy's the league Kobe's fighting in too, so. Really pumped up for it, definitely. You know, I think I think a lot of the, at least a lot of the MMA fighters out there, pro or amateur, that throw a lot of kicks that aren't aren't very uh, clean, I guess. They might just throw a kick out there, almost like you're throwing just to hit something. The baseball and not, bat. Yeah, like a baseball bat kind of. They're not really thinking about where they're hitting. They don't really care maybe about their leg or what they're doing. They just kind of throw out their wild. And I think uh, growing up in a martial arts background and karate, both being. Uh, multiple, multiple degree black belts in karate and different styles. Karate, uh, Kaju Kimbo is, is yeah, definitely. It teaches you, you know, accuracy and precision alone, but how to have that technique so you don't hurt yourself. Exactly. You can only hurt other people. <laughs> <laughs> Probably gonna go back and uh, pick up some food here in just a bit, so eat some healthy food, maybe play some pool at the house, play some games, something. We're thinking Let's about going out. bowling, but we might, might just hang out at the house and play. Uh, Put out the house and ping pong. I'm actually pretty good at ping pong. She thinks she, she thinks she's the best ping pong. <laughs> I've just been gone for a little bit. I'm I've been kidding. gone too. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, we just finished training up at Paradigm. Now we're back home, pretty hungry, so we're all cooking up, making some burgers, some salad inside, just having some fun. Oh, good. Yeah, I know it does, right? The restaurant is Chipotle or Chipotle? 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 Chipotle, Chipotle, get a little Chipotle. Chipotle, 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 Chipotle. <laughs> That's hard. Sean, say toy boat 10 times as fast as you can. Toy boat, toy boat. That's it. You try it. <laughs> toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat. That's hard. That's really hard. We'll kick his butt and pull real quick. You gotta take him out. Sure. Then we'll come back out and check on the burgers. All right, so we play this little game to see who breaks. What we do is start the second dot right there, and we just shoot it down off the bank and bring it back and see who gets the closest to this, this side of the bank. Oh, dude, I think you beat me. Oh, that was almost perfect.
<laughs> Get it, hurry. Oh my gosh, we're gonna mess up. We have this ghost pepper sauce. It's the real deal. It's like ghost pepper Hi. extract. It's hot. It's you put it. You put. You lay it on your skin, and your skin just like turns solid red and burns so bad. It's great. Like I was joking around one time, me and my brother were, and we put it. We got it on our nose, and like we'd even eat it, and it burned our nose like crazy. We heard that the chefs, chefs use uh, gloves to cook with it. <laughs> hey, I think they're almost done, Sean. Yeah. All right, like two more minutes. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Yeah. Two. two. What is he doing? He's taking over the table, man. <laughs> what is he doing? Dude, what is uh, what's Riley looking at? Oh, about time. Oh. I'm gonna catch that. Oh. These look good. Really good. Oh, look at the salad. Sis, sis, Colby, did you make this? Did dad make it? or? Yeah, yeah. My dad made this salad. That looks good. Uh, awesome. A few scoops of glutamine. Get that glutamine for recovery. Also, my branch chains. Can't forget those. I like my drinks tart. <laughs> Plus, I get extra aminos and extra glutamine, so that's perfect. Mix up for a second. Make some more. Training went great, right, Colby? Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, went over went over some specific techniques. We drilled a little bit, um, just making sure everything stays fresh in our mind, and uh, just make sure she's prepared for her fight coming up. So she's ready. June 23rd, this Friday coming up. I'm pumped to watch her fight. I know she's pumped. Yeah, we got my uh, fight shirts in yesterday. Actually, they just delivered them to Holson Nutrition Center. Um, my dad got a little excited and is wearing his now <laughs> instead of Friday. I guess he'll rewear it, but. I mean, the purple looks awesome. Uh, super excited. Everybody in the audience will be wearing it. They bought tickets, so it'll be a crowd of Labrada and purple. It says Colby Northcutt. Live on TV. Well, I wish we've. I wish we would have had more time to train together. We have this week coming up, but yeah. now it's just like fine-tuning little things. Mm -hmm. And uh, the past, the past amount of time that she's been training for a fight, we've been training different places. So mm -hmm. uh, maybe in the future we'll be training at the same place. And that'd be, that'd be awesome, because growing up as little kids, we always trained together at the same place, so. Yeah. Be really cool. But anyways, yeah, we're having this meal, finishing it up. It was great, great training, great food, and check out some more content here from LeBron Nutrition. Make sure to subscribe. Definitely.